The next question from Adil Rashid from Kashmir, India. I am a student of class 12th, sir. I have a friend who is a non-Muslim and I am trying to explain to him Islam since the 25th of May 2020. Yesterday he asked a question but I could not give him the answer. The question is that no religion says that if you do not follow God then you will be punished. But in Islam Allah says if you do not obey me then Allah will give you a strong punishment. Isn't Allah egoistic? Sir, my friend is very close to saying the Shahada. If you reply, then he may accept Islam soon, inshallah. The question posed by Adil. He is doing dawah to one of his non-Muslim friends and he is very close to accepting Islam. He asked the question that why in Islam Allah is so egoistic, knows Billah. And he said that if you don't obey me, I will punish you. Whereas in other religions, God does not say that if you don't obey him, you will be punished. I disagree with a non-Muslim friend. In fact, most of the religions say that if you don't obey God, you will go to hell. Hinduism says that, Christianity says that, and most of the religions. But I do agree with you that Islam is most strong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran is very firm. And he says that if you do not obey the commandments, if you associate partners with anyone else besides him, it is shirk. It is the biggest sin, you will go to hellfire. Islam is more firm, is more staunch, I do agree with you. Let me give you an example and ask you a question so that you understand better. If there is a family who is staying in a tall building on the 20th floor, and if that family has a son who is about 5 years old, 6 years old, he wants to jump from the balcony of the 20th floor where he is staying. And he tells his father, I want to be Superman. And he wants to jump. There is one father who says, and tries to explain to his son logically, you will not be able to fly, you are not a Superman, please don't jump. The second father is the same example. Another father whose son says he wants to jump from the 20th floor, he says, don't jump from the 20th floor, otherwise I will punish you, I will not allow you to go down to play. You have a third type of a father, same situation, son wants to jump from the 20th floor, wants to fly like a superman, but this father, he is more firm. He says, you dare even think of jumping, I will slap you. I will tie you and close you in a room. If you think of even jumping, and if you try jumping also, I will lock you up in a room. I am asking you the question. A normal child of the age of five and six. Who will he listen to more? The chances of him listening to the first father is more, or chances listening to the second father is more, or chances listening to the third father is more. But naturally the answer is that listening to the third father, the chances that the son will not jump from the 20th floor is in the case of the third father. Because the third father is cruel to be kind. He is very firm. I will tie you up. I will slap you. I will lock you in the room. The child will get scared. You cannot say, no, I'll try to explain to him logically. No, he may not understand. The second father says, okay, I will not allow you to go down to play. So what then? As long as I fly like a superman, who wants to play? But I will lock you in a room. I will slap you. I will tie you up. It will scare the child. Now, the third father loves this child more. He is willing to go to any extreme to see to it that he doesn't jump and kill himself. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God in Islam, He is very clear cut and sure that if the person does shirk, if he associates partners with Almighty God, it is the biggest sin, he will go to hellfire. So he's telling, do not have alcohol, do not have pork, do not gamble, do not do adultery, all this is beneficial. If you do, you will go to hell. So in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses three types of strategies in convincing the human beings. Number one is with reason and logic. Therefore, if you read the Quran, there are many verses saying that, will you not then understand? This book is for people of understanding. That means talking to them logically. Some people will agree logically. 
Some verses of the Quran, Allah says, if you do this, I will reward you. I will give you Jannah, in which rivers will flow beneath your feet, in which you will have a lot of fruits to eat, you will have the best of life, giving you rewards. Sometimes, the third strategy Allah uses, if you don't obey me, I'll put you in hellfire, I will punish you. So there are three types of strategies used by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, in Quran and in Islam, to convince the followers to follow the straight path. Whether a human being follows the straight path or not, it makes no difference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will not make him greater, he's already the greatest. But if you follow the commandment, it will benefit the human being. If he doesn't have alcohol, he'll have good health. If he doesn't gamble, it will save him a lot of trouble. You don't do adultery, it will prevent him from several diseases. It will let him lead a good, happy family life. So all these things what Allah commands in the Quran and in Islam, what our beloved Prophet says in the Sharia, it is benefiting the human being, not Almighty God. But Almighty God loves his creatures. Allah in Islam is the most loving, most kind, most merciful. Therefore, he wants his creation, the human beings, to follow him. That's the reason Allah is very firm also. Trying to give you a warning that don't do all these wrong things. Otherwise, it will be lost for you. And he even tells them that you get punishment. So this is for the benefit of the human beings. That's the reason today in the world. The religion that is followed most is Islam. In numbers and senses, you may have more number of claiming they are Christians, maybe close to 2.7 billion or a little bit more. Muslims are more than 2 billion in the world, more than 26%. But the percentage, the number of human beings following a religion, number one is Islam. Most of the Christians don't follow the religion. The only name say Christians. So amongst the human beings, the people that follow maximum the religion are the Muslims. It is the Islamic religion. Why? Because the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the strategy of reason and logic. Islam is the most logical religion. Give the strategy of giving reward. The reward that is mentioned in the Quran about Jannah, the description of Jannah is the best as compared to any other scripture. At the same time warning them, you will get punishment, you will get hellfire. The description of hellfire in the Quran is the worst as compared to other scriptures. So the strategy used by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most logical, most rewarding, most punishing. That's the reason the people that follow the maximum in religion is Islam. And according to a survey which was done in Germany just about one year back, the people that are the most satisfied and the most happy are the Muslims because of this strategy. Hope this answer will convince your friend and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give hidayah to your friend and may he accept Islam.